so many other people who are having the same or suffering from the same human like i am so sorry to all of you just ensure that you take uh you take drugs or so anything that will help you to deal with whatever you're suffering from it is so so important that you take very good care of yourself i always say it. it's important that you take good care of yourself so that you do not fall sick don't fall sick no matter what try as much as you can not to fall sick because if you fall sick so many people will cry some people have to suffer there are so many people that are dependent on you so if you're suffering from any illness anything that could be bothering you as far as illness is concerned what you do is that ensure that you get to get medical aid as soon as possible so that you get back on your feet it's only when you're sick that you wish you're giving anything to ensure that you're back on your feet to go about your activities each day it is a delight to be with you good afternoon to all those who are watching us from the north you know the three uh, regions in the north good afternoon to all of you i don't know if you're feeling the cold that we're feeling uh, over here in the west region but hello to all of you and i uh, hope they're having really having a nice time back there for those who are visiting that area well just enjoy just have fun there and discover new places new areas you know it's always important to travel and go to other places and discover new people new things it helps you to change your mindset change the way you look at certain things too because if you stay on the spot and you read what people are written at one point in time it's not really the reality on the field Go there and see for yourself what the people are actually going through. Then for you now, you can have a final conclusion on that. It's in the heart of the city. For whosoever is watching us, how are you today? I hope you're well. For those who are in the hospital, I wish you a quick recovery. For those who are, uh, uh, you know, these particular people, they never think about those who take care of people in the hospital. It's difficult because you have to give in to all the naughtiness of the person in the hospital. You say, oh, no, I don't want to eat. You no, know, they have this way of doing their things, especially kids. Even the old people do that. So it's not. I know it's not easy for you to take care of that person that is sick right now in the hospital. But just arm yourself with a lot of courage to go through it. I know it's not going to be easy. Just know it's not going to be easy. But you have to go through it, whatever the case. Sometimes they even have to pretend because they want you to come and pamper them a little you know take care of them and all those sort of things but <laughs> you don't have a choice at that point in time the girls are present this afternoon for another edition of in the heart of the city the all answer present to give you the very best for this program this afternoon this program business kitchen and health we started business monday with oranges and of course we will continue with that kitchen miss b will do a beautiful cuisine for us this afternoon i don't know if still the black soup we did uh, last monday and tuesday but maybe it's a black soup with something else we will find that out in the course of our program and the health is hoarseness that is voice loss that's what we will continue talking on how you can possibly prevent that we've already started giving you some home remedies and i hope that you already are putting them into practice if you're already taking into consideration to do them be rest assured that before you know it the voice must just must have come back enough of the talking let me uh, say hello to the girls this afternoon and properly welcome them as is done in africa you know someone nobody comes to your house and you don't welcome them so good afternoon to you mariko good afternoon. To you. you know with this africa you know, when somebody comes here, they'll welcome the person. You know, imagine how they look at you. No, they welcome people in Africa with food. With food? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I understood the message already. <laughs> good afternoon, Sensia. Thank you. Good afternoon to you. Thank you. Good afternoon to you, too, Miss B. Thank you. And to all the viewers out there. Okay. Good afternoon. Okay, Ms. Mariko, good afternoon to all the viewers <laughs> out there. Thank you very much, uh, Mariko, for that warm uh, afternoon wish to all our viewers this afternoon. Miss B or Lady B, call her that and uh, she gives you what you, in fact, you know best. For those who are just joining for the very first time, you call her Miss B or Lady B, she gives you a fine smile. Uh, Miss B, good afternoon to you. Thank you You're really much. well armed this afternoon. Hello, up to. <laughs> These days we don't joke. <laughs> this is more than winter joking. Yes, I, I can see that. We are just lost in some <laughs> heavy feet. So it's something else in Baku. So yes, the cold. To all those who are about to come into town, please cover up. Okay. Don't do us little quinkle things after I go home. <laughs> 
Good afternoon to our tele viewers. Good afternoon, Marco. Good afternoon. Yeah, yes. you've come with my, you know, stuff again. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought of you so much. I, I, I really thought of you when Thank I was you. wearing this. I said, I have to make you happy. Thank I love this, this merch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, She's cool. added another one there on the next. There's another one behind yeah, there. The camera her. cannot go there, unfortunately. <laughs> no, it's, it's showing. Yeah. Okay, yes, it's showing. It's showing in front, but it's not mm. showing right behind. Yes. Mm. You know, black <laughs> and you know, pink is really beautiful. It matches very well. Black and pink, you know. <laughs> Is this not wrong? Mm -hmm. Okay, please keep warm before you come into town. As far as Bafu Sam is concerned, I want to say hi to uh, you know uh, Cameroonians in general. Okay, especially this moment, please let's you know exhibit a high sense of patriotism. Let me see. Okay, why now? By the you know, let's let's go by our. Uh, our our father of the nation okay or oh, oh, motherland fatherland it's our father of this our fatherland okay so always see <laughs> let's exhibit a high sense of you know patriotism okay uh, so to all our share cameroonians out there you understand is it share patrie share patrie uh -huh, thank you let's let us exhibit a high sense of patriotism okay. love for motherland love for fatherland just think about the green red yellow and the middle you know the star the golden the star, star in the middle. middle think about what they mean reflect on their meaning and what they're telling us and you know why we're saying so this afternoon you know uh cameroon a few months to come will be hosting a big african event ah, okay. and again we're already in the saga of the event please feel good but again to those who are still in the struggle Let's mm -hmm. just let go. God has the final say. Let go. Yeah, let God handle it for us. Okay. You know, when God handles your matter, eh? oh, come on. Who can rough handle it? Nobody. Again? Who that can mal handle it? Nobody. Is looking for words. Who can, you know, de handle it? I mean, sorry. Oh. <laughs> so just let's, let's leave it. Let God handle our matter. When God handles, you know, we we'll go back to Second Chronicles 14, verse 7. If my people who are called by my name uh, shall humble themselves Before and pray, me. good, I will hear and do what? Heal the land. So I think we just humble. Go back to Exodus 14. Is this not preaching? You understand? At one point in time, God had to tell the children of Israel, be still, for I am fighting for you. Mm -hmm. I think it is that moment where we just have to be still as Cameroonians, especially those who are in you know, the English parts of the country mm -hmm. and the far north region, just be still with the scripture from you know Exodus 14. And uh, before you know it, uh, the invisible warrior, mm -hmm. the one who shows up in the height or the heat of the battle as the invisible warrior is going to the fighting for, for you. us. I think it's that moment. I don't know why I'm saying this today, but I just feel happy and calm. You're really spirit. inspired today, Miss Yeah, Bay. Always, you know, but at one point in time, it's like the spirit will say, say it. It's free say, leads. Yeah, it leads you. It's like the spirit says, I just feel like you can lead you. So let's just be still. And before you know it, God. But sometimes when we want to go ahead, you understand, and do the fighting. So we don't need God. We don't need God. I don't need God. Mm -hmm. But if we really need God, as Cameroonians, please. Let's lay down what we must lay down. We know what we must lay down. Mm -hmm. It's based on, you know, constraining somebody to. But let's lay down what, uh, uh, you're with me, Mariko. I know you're always mm -hmm. with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's lay mm -hmm. down what we must lay down. We yes, know yes, what yes, we yes. must lay down. Yeah, we yes, know. Yes, 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 Good. Yes, yes, yes. And then let's um, be still. Uh -huh. So sometimes if you want to go ahead and fight, God is okay, you don't need me. Mm -hmm. And once that person who does not need God. So I think God is waiting for us to stop so that he takes over the battle and let them be, you know, peace for real, stability for real. God, there's nothing that God cannot do. That's Who true. could ever imagine that the first world war will come to an end, the second world war, until, you know, you know, you know, and so there is no other, you know, uh, fighting that will not end. But it needs the people to be willing to, you know, do something. And so it's time for us to stay still, let God no, do the needful. Thank you very much, Miss B. It makes me remember Sunday the pastor said he talked about uh, I forgot in the passage. He was talking about some people had to go to battle, and uh, he said God asked them to put to play just music and and songs. Thank you so much. Yes. And then the battle was won for them. Good. Uh, you, you can have that in the book of Judges. Ju yeah. yeah. Uh, the, when the walls of Jericho the fell down. down. Yes. So there are many ways in which you can do that. Just give him. 
to whom uh, he who deserve the honor and every other thing and don't bother every other thing will fall into place so when you drop what you're supposed to drop as miss b said you rest assured that that god's time is the best thank you very much miss b for that inspiration this afternoon i hope you got to the into the rightful ears those who are so listen not only the rightful ears every cameroonian was supposed to put our knees down and ask god for this it is uh it's something that you have to ask from the devil of your heart don't ask just from your lips because some people just ask from your lips, you know, from their head. Anything that comes from their head, they ask. God looks at the heart. He doesn't look like at the, the face. or the, He looks at your heart. What do you really want from your heart? Thank you, Miss B, for that one. I okay. remind you, Binda, you know, talking about let us drop what we must drop. Well, we know all what we are thinking right now. We we'll talk about dropping what it's not only, you know, the sissies mm -hmm. in the illness. Not only the arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Even those who are using the situation to, you know, explore, explore all this. So, uh, drop. That's what I mean. Mm. So let's not only be looking at one side, all of us must drop. You understand? This will even change identity mm -hmm. because of, you know, come back to your real self. Come back to your real self. It, it comes back to, 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 to what Michael said on Tuesday that Thank we should you. stop pretending to be what we are not. We should pre not pretending to be what we are not. Okay, we are people, and we're supposed to be those persons. Don't change to be somebody else. Today is the World Humanitarian Day. I just fell into this, and uh, Miss B, do you think some people understand the the meaning of being a humanitarian, helping people? Some people always have to get into associations before they help others. Yeah, many people don't understand. Yeah, you can still be. You know, it's not only you know. I think I will look, uh, I look more, mm -hmm. I will, you know, uh, uh, lord or applaud the person who is, you know, who, who is, you know, living in neighborhood mm -hmm. and realize your neighbor cannot make up mm -hmm. once for a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you have in abundance your help in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. That's the, the, the humanitarian mm -hmm. agent. Even more than, you know, the person who says, this is my humanitarian, you know, Agency and so on my organization, yeah. yes. Even that person understands mm -hmm. what it means to be humanitarian. Mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't mean that you must very trumpet or no, you must form an organization. No, it's an indication that this day, you know, try to be human, mm -hmm. not only to your family members, your mm -hmm. kids. To your, there are some people who are not human to, to themselves. Yourself. Yes. To yourself, your environment means everyone around you, and uh, of course, if you can be. Uh, a humanitarian someone mm -hmm. in your environment, then the nation is blessed because if everybody does that, it spreads to the community. Mm -hmm. And the community spreads to the entire nation. And before you know it, can will be the best of nations. So it's the individual back to the individual. See, everything, every situation, if something is going wrong somewhere, mm -hmm. everywhere, or what we live in now in our country, mm -hmm. it is us, me, you, mm -hmm. decide to do the right thing before you know it. Thank you very much. Decide to do the right thing. You must not have an organization before you get to be a humanitarian. You can just do the right thing. You see somebody in need, you just help. Maricola, anything to add for this humanitarian day today, August 19th? Absolutely. I have something to add to mm -hmm. Santiago because uh, humanitarian actions are very much, they are very little in our context. Exactly. Honestly, because most of the times you say we are doing humanitarian work. Meanwhile, behind we are having lots of money for ourselves. <laughs> so that's that's another difference that we have to be able to put down. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if we even really think mm -hmm. of helping, it's a good idea mm -hmm. of, of thinking that you, you want, want to help. help. Yeah. Yes, it's a very good thing because blessed is the hand that gives than the ones that they receive all the time. Mm -hmm. So it's good when you give out because when you give out, you're asking so much mm -hmm. in return. Mm -hmm in your actions, mm. not that you're intentionally asking. So now where I, I want to chip in about the fact that some people have really used the humanitarian um, actions mm. to get much money for them. Mm -hmm. Because you see somebody who says, okay, I'm into humanitarian uh, aid, aid mm -hmm. and all of that. But when they go do an action, mm -hmm. this is what they do. Where it's you can't go into these actions without necessarily having the finances that be mm -hmm. you need the necessary finances. But when they go sign partnerships mm -hmm. with big structures, mm -hmm. the percentage mm -hmm. that that's where my problem is the percentage they, they chip in that's the remove from what they've had as advertorials mm -hmm. and everything that goes with it to give back now to those who are to in, need. in need, yes, 
it's generally just mm. just like like they were saying French people do share. Mm -hmm. It's very Me, menial. Yes, very menial. Meanwhile, the rest goes now back into, into their, their pockets. Pocket. So that's where I have a problem with the humanitarian mm. actions that sometimes we, we pose. But on the other hand, I really admire the other version mm. that goes with those who decide to go on war fronts mm -hmm. to help women who have lost their husbands mm -hmm. during wars, children who have lost their parents, like orphans. Mm -hmm. And these are the people, widowers as well. Mm -hmm. They take care of all these people without necessarily expecting something in return. return. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you look at their salaries or what they get in return, it's really menial. And when they take it, they are still thinking of these same people, people they are taking care of. So that's where I really admire the other aspect of <coughs> humanitarian mm -hmm. action. So to be a humanitarian uh, uh, person, mm -hmm. honestly, all of us are humans, but not everybody is a humanitarian. Not everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For that, I agree that just not everybody is a humanitarian. I know not everybody can possibly get himself into this humanitarian aid. So I uh, say uh, courage to all those who have dedicated their lives happiness and everything to humanitarian cause and uh, i also want to uh, say courage to all those who do it anonymously anonymously there are very few people who do it anony anonymously everybody wants that everybody should see what i am doing see the way i'm helping this person you know they go <laughs> marico say you can call camera they come and film the way i'm giving this person this particular thing <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> there are people who do that so i i applaud those who do it anonymously it's uh it's not easy seeing that it's, you know that it's between you and god this help that you're giving this person and then it's okay uh talking miss b talked so much this morning about uh, the african cup of nation michael it was on tuesday did you watch that draw i know i was talking about it on tuesday you were like i know you found a football but did you watch that draw the draw yes the draw ceremony ah okay yeah, of course, I did. Did you love it? Yeah. No, it's your in your country, yeah. It's not as if it's. <laughs> yes, I, I loved it. But I don't want to be a hypocrite mm -hmm. because. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am. Um, I was surprised, honestly. Okay. Yes, I was very surprised with the way it went so smoothly mm -hmm. because we've always had it in a way that things will happen, <laughs> especially uh, live productions that have to do with the international scope. She's a true Cameroonian. When you're in front of the screen, you'll <laughs> yeah. be like, uh -huh. this is the moment. Yeah. And then you just see dark out. Uh -huh. But thank God there was no dark out this time. And everything went on like smoothly. Mm -hmm. In fact, what particularly marked my attention is the fact that they paid homage to legends of mm -hmm. war, yes, like Roger Miller. Roger Miller. And, uh, it office was very well presented. He mm -hmm. represented Cameroon and Didier Drogba, Asamoen yeah, Gyan. But what particularly caught my attention mm -hmm. was the fact that Samuel Etoufis was the first mm -hmm. to pick up mm -hmm. Cameroon's name mm -hmm. as the first amongst the draws. So I was him. like, I like that part. Something about this lion mm -hmm. is particular. <laughs> yeah, <I'm with> <laughs> he is he is lion right up to the core mm -hmm. because. He it, had to it's like an etiquette on him. He just stood there and when they said Mr. Samoa, because I want to I want to remind, mm -hmm. I want to come back to the things that I highlighted because I had time to, to do to do a debriefing a debriefing on this, okay. on this ceremony with my with my siblings. And what I particularly noticed was mm -hmm. this the Mr. that was put on okay. Samuel. He wasn't called anyhow. Uh -huh. So I just understood that see Cameroon is at this level so this is where we have to now keep it mm -hmm. like this is a legend that is standing for Cameroon mm -hmm. and he's the one that has to hold like he's, he was standing there for us mm -hmm. at that moment he was representing Cameroon even though there was a lioness as well mm -hmm. uh, Gaël Ganamwit was equally there mm -hmm. so I can't say that it was just uh, it's uh, Mr. Oh, Samuel I really like the way the, <laughs> present, uh, the animator would mm -hmm. keep saying Mr. Samuel, please can you can you turn? And all the time he was with arms folded, and I was like, "This is a liar," mm. because <laughs> the way his posture could tell mm -hmm. that Cameroon is just seated mm -hmm. and waiting to receive this uh, competition by January with all arms. But my prayer mm -hmm. is that this same smoothness I saw. <laughs> yes, she's uh, coming yes, back now. <laughs> yes, this same smoothness I mm -hmm. saw continues even in the play mm -hmm. yes because the, the game itself that's where we are waiting we are really you know but i must say something i in the whole it was good it was really good it was really really good miss b did you love that event too 
Uh, well, I think in the aspect of organization, that's mm. where too, I fell in love. Mm. So, yeah, that and uh, I admire something about you know, you know the old players. Okay. Especially with my guy, you understand? Oh, Jimmy. Sorry to call him you know, Kersha. He was Thank you. The real lion. Anyway, all of them and so on and so on. But again, uh, I just pray. I have no problem with the boys, mm. you know, is, but I have problem with those who are to make it work. Please, mm -hmm. remove all your selfish interest. Mm -hmm. Remove all your Very you know, Asian mentalities. Mm -hmm. like remove it. all your village instincts. Mm -hmm. Remove all your pre pre You know, there's element. a lot of tribalism that has to do with the team. Thank you, I'm still coming. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm in a hasty year, really. You know, remove all your primeval behaviors. Mm. Remove all your, you know, a kick, you know, reasoning. Mm. Remove all your after privilege Yes. This time around, remove all your, you know, worn out, you know, traditional garments. You understand? And when you're real self, mm. it has to do with reflecting God in your everything mm. in your mind. Yeah, exactly. No, I you know that's what you're writing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I hope they've not come after you, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> you know, thank you, production room, for helping me get off this. You know, I'm just being real. Mm. If you realize that if Miss B is part of, you know, this event to make mm. it work, mm -hmm. I must collaborate with you mm. with a good heart, collaborate with Mariko mm. with a good heart, be open. Remove all that, you know, our, you know, you know, I'm looking for a way. You know, it, it has become our thing. Mm -hmm. In everything we want to squeeze mm -hmm. and keep no use what you have to use to make the event a success. I'm telling you, if we do all this, huh? You will see what will happen. I mean, even that glory we had in those days when we'll come back. football we we'll come back. That is very that's I like that yeah, highlight you made like there, Miss the B. The boys have done this the boys are trained. Mm -hmm. It's in them when you look at them, it's in them. Football recites in Cameroon mm. as the you know number one country in Africa. We know that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sorry to say, but let's do, for now accept that. <laughs> fifty years after, it's mm. only fifty years after that we are oh, we are able to host mm -hmm. such a, a competition again. Yes. So I think I mean, that fifty years has given us to now. the opportunity Good. to be so please to nurture, to uh -uh. build, to correct to all the errors, to grow. Uh -uh. We even so in fact one thing I equally noticed mm -hmm. that really marked my attention were the different stadiums mm -hmm. that were going to be hosting the event. When the projection was done, I was like, is this camera? Mm -hmm. So but I was happy, you know, with the flash on it. The truth is that inside you find issues as well inside there. But I just like that aspect that already we have them mm -hmm. before the other little aspects that will be like okay maybe infrastructure wise the stadia or the seats for the the, the, mm. the spectators and all of that maybe issues the can electricity. be absolutely not to talk of that so so <laughs> be this last one last thing <laughs> you just open you just i think it's just provoking uh, okay uh, i i remember one thing too i noticed mm -hmm. during the event that really pleased me was mm -hmm. the fact that we had two presenters, one from Cameroon and another from Nigeria. Yeah. And the truth is that the lady in, from Nigeria could manage two languages, mm. but our presenter from um, Cameroon only spoke in his French mm. from start to finish. And it was, you know, what? that's where I had an issue, an mm -hmm. issue because I was like, this guy should have at least spoken a, spoken a, a little bit of English. English. Just the phrase mm -hmm. that done it. In events like this, we need to Really yeah. The lady spoke in French and English because she knew that she was in a state where yes, there are two languages that are official and she was really managing to speak the, the French. The French wasn't that good mm. but you could hear her management and you could hear how it was clear. Mm -hmm. You could hear what, you she, get was what she was saying. Exactly. So our own man, our own lion who was standing by her uh, would have better spoken to maybe in, uh, in, in English too. And then the other thing that I want to add again is that I like the dress code of uh, uh, Song Bahana. Okay. Yes. He was the swag like was the too head much. Head. I like the, the swag was too mm. much. And the fact that he could stand there and warn other other players mm. that they should know that they are petite mm -hmm. <laughs> compared to them yeah. because they are lions <coughs> and they they were coming at petite. So mm. I just like the ambiance. It made the whole hall to laugh out and 
can be also speak. I like the hairdo. <laughs> okay, Miss B likes the hairdo. Thank you very you know, much. You know, the man behind the hairdo mm-hmm. is driving what the hairdo reflects. Okay. That's one thing about his personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, you know, oh, you understand. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, so the man behind the hairdo is a calm and gentle man. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. If I like the hairdo. No, most of all, we want to judge people from their physical, mm-hmm. whereas you don't know them. You don't know them. I'm not saying I'm not but from the new biography I read about him, I think he is not what people think. He, he is. is. Thank you, girls, for talking so much on the draw ceremony that took place in Yaoundé. That was on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, 17th of August. It was a great event, a colorful one. You know, I like the colors, the mixtures of colors. I didn't even believe that it was Cameroon because it was so different. It, feels like, it felt like it was Egypt because I remember the last time the draws were done in Egypt. Yes. But it felt like it wasn't Cameroon. The thing was so colorful. It didn't feel like it was the same conference hall that we know all the time. In, it was not just the same thing at all. Everything was just different. Thank God for the success. As Mariko said, we hope that it continues. It should not just end at this point in time. And that uh, the players, they need to do a lot of work. Because there's one thing that they are doing now. Uh, people are saying, that, no, Cameroon is in a good pool. Just, that team, is, those teams are not very strong. I want to tell you one thing. That all the teams who got themselves up to the level where they will pull up during the draws are all competitive teams. And you should not underestimate anything. So you need to work on your tactics and so many things and prepare yourself hard so that at the end of it, that cup should remain in Cameroon. Let me see. Let me see. Did you see Jeremy Njitap also within me? Okay. Jeremy Njitap. Oh, the guy was in a swag. Mm. You understand? Everybody but has... Miss I like the... This boy mm. just came out. The general swag was... Mm-hmm. Because I, I was just scared that let guys coming from different countries not come and steal the show from our lions <laughs> even the older yes. lions because i really you did you see roger miller on when he came trophy. to give the, the tro- yeah, trophy yes all right there i understood that this we've already won this game and the stories that he, he recounted were uh. wonderful <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to bring back those men. Those who were born in the 90s. 90s. The of the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> no, Miss B, we were still kids by then, but we could still see football. Anyway, we, 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 we do not understand. That was the 90s. Yes, the 80s. The 80s. No, the 80s. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. 80s and 90s. It could be. Mm-hmm. Because I remember something about him in the 90s. Yes, in the 90s. Yeah, he, he played with Maradona. He, yes. Argentina. In the 80s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, girls. Uh, let's go to our program that this afternoon had been a good one too. Do I intro this afternoon? Talk about uh, the draw. Talk about a number of things just to get you cheer up wherever you find yourself this afternoon. Our question for today displayed right there on your screen. So we are uh, exactly three one minutes past three o'clock. Who keeps a child when the parents are separated, especially in the case where they were not married? Who keeps a child? We know of uh, a number of percentage, the highest percentage of children that are born today are born out of wedlock, are born out of marriage. So in that case, in this case, who keeps the child? Who has custody over that child when the relationship is over and uh, both of them are no longer together? Who keeps them? Especially when they're not married. That it will be a question of discussion this afternoon. Time for us to go to the business. Marie, will surely do something for us for oranges. Marie, you have the floor. Thank you once again, Santia B, for giving me the floor. Thank God we've left the stage. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a, a, a fan of food, but I think yeah. I'm learning how to love you are Thanks already, to you girls. You're already a fan of food. Uh, okay. You know the way you're spoken this afternoon, you're already a fan of food. <laughs> thank you very much for, for staring that, that in me. I didn't really know. Oh, at all. You could get, get interested exactly, into it. I didn't. I didn't. Mm. One bit. Thank you once mm-hmm. again for giving me the floor. Okay. Today we'll talk about preservation of oranges. Mm-hmm. All right. Now it's quite easy to preserve oranges. Okay. Oranges are just fruit. That fruit. Yes, that fruit. No matter the state, how it is, it's important that you keep them in very dry surfaces. Okay. Yes, that's the first thing. Now, why would you not want to keep it in a warm zone? Because it can get too damp and then gradually get rot. Okay. So if you are into these sales, generally you will see uh, these oranges, they are tied, they are put in these bags, in bags that look like nets yes. that you use by, mm-hmm. use by fishermen. Mm-hmm. Yes, generally they will put it in, in stuffs like that. Why? Because it needs air. 
okay you need air you need air you need to circulate and when it's inside this uh, this packaging you can be sure that you'll be fine mm -hmm. now another thing another way of preserving mm -hmm. is that you can just pour it out on the, the <coughs> soil mm -hmm. on soil normal soil now make sure that the kind of soil you're putting it on is not the kind of soil that is too hot it's not hot mm -hmm. okay because there are some rooms there are some 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 spaces at home that you realize that they are extremely hot mm -hmm. yes while others are extremely cold then others are just humid now <coughs> go to this one that is just normal temperature <coughs> because if you keep it where it's too hot since be you come and meet your oranges all right look all right yes because that's a business you're doing mm -hmm. so you need to keep it where it can be able to last for a while mm -hmm. before so that you sell gradually, gradually without necessarily losing any of your fruits mm -hmm. now the other way that you can equally store for consumers now mm -hmm. is that you can put it maybe in your fridge mm -hmm. the, the fridge not the freezer all right because the fridge, yes okay. the fridge that's uh the, f the, the just the calm part or okay. the cold just to part. freshen it up exactly mm -hmm. okay so if you put it in the deep freezer ice, ice is going to just spoil the whole thing so you better put it in a fridge now how do you keep it People always keep fruits inside fridges, inside wrapping papers. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. It's not right okay. to do that. Why? Because in as much as it's inside the fridge, mm -hmm. the wrapping paper is still doing its role. It's compacting whatever thing is there and it can still get heat. Okay. I was thinking that maybe as it's in a cold environment, mm -hmm. it might be different. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, generally, since they are fruits, mm -hmm. fruits are very sensitive. Very sensitive and fragile. Mm -hmm. So generally, you can't even keep them for too long mm -hmm. inside those fridges mm -hmm. when you put them in the fresher part of the mm -hmm. fridge. You wouldn't last there for too long. Why? Because normally, the, the fruits like the orange part, mm -hmm. part particularly has citrus acid in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So since it has acid, the acid will just do something like it drains mm -hmm. and then it gradually becomes poisonous mm -hmm. and dangerous for consumption mm -hmm. so it transforms inside there once it's closer to heat now just let it in open air some people put it in dishes or in uh, plastic bowls mm -hmm. others will get these um, wooden bowls mm -hmm. and they put it inside mm -hmm. they just you put, don't wash don't okay. wash you don't wash yes don't wash okay just put it inside that way you know why you not wash no. because once you wash it's already closer to so much water let it be freshened by the fridge itself that means if you cannot peel and put in the freezer mm. in the fridge if you're peeling mm -hmm. wow that therefore you have to have a limited time for it to be there because mm -hmm. you will not, don't be surprised until that after a while you discover that the the oranges you surely bought already peeled mm -hmm. after say three hours mm -hmm. you discover that the back is all brown yes i've noticed yes i've noticed exactly so that's the reason why if you're storing, if you're keeping, don't don't clean. Mm -hmm. Just leave it in its normal state. When you want to eat, you just come remove, wash and, and consume. Yes, that's that's it for now, so I don't know if there's another method of uh, preservation, but for now that's what I know. There are so many things that I've learned today as far as uh, oranges preservation is concerned. You know, all I knew is that you could just put in dry air and it's okay. I've seen people peeling. I didn't know that peeling was very complicated. How long do we do you think uh, oranges can last? How long? What is the time limit you can put? No, for preservation. Yes. Oh well, they can last as long as even three weeks. Okay. It just depends in uh, on the state in which you have a state yeah. or you bought them. Mm -hmm. Yes, because some people when they are going to buy oranges that they need to consume on a longer period mm -hmm. they take just buy what is not too ripe mm -hmm. in fact buy all what is green mm -hmm. but making sure it's mature mature yes you get home then now it will now nurture itself at home gradually because you wouldn't be eating it like you are not eating it all at once uh, yeah so gradually but if you have it in a bigger quantity like i said before spread it on the ground Okay, you spread it on the ground. Mm. It's preferable that way. That way it can last and you should not get it when it's overripe, like the image that we have there. Thank you, Marie Cole, no for that enlightenment for the preservation of oranges. For those who didn't know, I hope you've been able to learn something this morning on how to preserve oranges. If you have a fridge, it's easier for you. You can you don't keep in a room that is so warm. Uh, it needs wind. It needs to. It doesn't need to be too warm. Those are some of the things that Mariko has highlighted this afternoon, as far as oranges are, of course, the concern. Main time uh, for us. Time for us to go on to something else with you, or Miss B or Lady B. Miss B, you did uh, black soup. 
uh, is black soup and uh, fufu, okay, le pain de cocoyam. What do we do today? I feel like eating corn fufu and oh. fried pepper because there's too much coal and rain out there. <laughs> Miss B. I feel the fufu should be damn sweet. Okay. Should it be strong or soft? Damn smooth and soft is with pepper uh, because it will permit me drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. And there, this is what I'm saying. Look at that fufu. This, if we turn that fufu, you know, the this fufu water for them. Corn fufu until uh, those small, small holes are not there. So I'll come and give you eggs. Mm -hmm. We turn this fufu this afternoon until there are those small, small mm -hmm. holes. And it's an indication that it's well cooked. Mm -hmm. Smooth. With you know fried pepper and fried fish, yes. I want to be eating fried pepper with tomatoes. Yes. Okay. A little bit of tomato, but the pepper should be a little bit hot as well. So that when I'm eating, I'm doing. Understand. You understand. No, it makes me remember when we were kids. Our mother used to put a lot of pepper in food, you know, so that we eat and drink a lot of water, so you don't ask for more. Pepper. <laughs> First of all, I will say good for the health, but don't work on the Don't work on you. So it, it makes your system strong. Mm -hmm. The little thing you don't just fall ill, and that's one thing about African children consume a lot of pepper and traditional spices. They're always different, mm -hmm. very strong in everything they do. So that that's our pepper, you know. Get pepper, wash, blend. Blend with a little bit of tomato, <coughs> put enough onions and some you know traditional spices. Traditional spice, yes. Yeah. And then fry it all, fry the fish separate. That's the pepper fried. Add the fish to it, get the quantity you want, do smooth come mm -hmm. from You put your water on the fire, boil, reduce, I'll drop a pinch of salt there because this is my I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> drop a pinch of salt. Okay, in the water pan. before you stir yes. the food. Divide into two, I add my corn flour and I stir, I leave it to cook a little after I add the rest of the corn flour. Stir well, stir well. Mm -hmm. When it's well, you know, come together, you understand. I add the rest of the raw water depending on the quantity. And then it boils again and finalize my comfort water in the leaf. Okay. Not the plastic food. Okay, so the leaves. Me, yeah. And the leaf is something else. Please leave me all this plastic paper cup, please. Maybe leaf. plastic paper is faster now. Nah. No leaf is the gongo leaf as they call it. Maybe even it's gongo leaf or banana leaf, it's difficult to tie. No. Please produce any shape. <laughs> or, you know, I used to you know, do mine or take my time. To, I discover one more, just put it there and just wrap it in. I'm and putting it. The fufu will come out that same shape, but in the mouth is something. <laughs> in okay. the mouth is excellent. Yes, it's excellent. It's just bundle like that. If you look at the shape, it looks like, you know, one stone that was, you know, not well manufactured by, you know, I don't know. You understand? But in the mouth is something else. So that's what we say. Come to food. Fried pepper, fried fish. We will not want to eat that thing. Miss mm, B, I'm only thinking about that pepper in my head. Yeah. My recall, that is a corn fufu. Miss B, I say corn fufu, pepper, fried fish. Okay. I've been looking at the, 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 the tomatoes for quite a while mm. and I realized that it's really fresh, Miss B. Mm. Thank it's you. Raw. For those who make very hot pepper, you mm -hmm. can slice some tomatoes and, and put them aside. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when you eat it too hot, it's too sliced. Mm -hmm. Kill the hotness of the mm -hmm. No, I like the, the, the pepper aspect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pepper, uh, the one about the tomatoes. No, the fish and the pepper. Oh, it's fine. Then <laughs> added with the onion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's well. It's well. Thank you very much, Miss B. <laughs> because That's, the, uh, the rest room is going to. <laughs> the rest room only. Okay. Thank you very much, Miss B. That is corn fufu and pepper. It's a really nice meal eh, that you can make for yourself. And I know that pepper is expensive. Mm. I know that they give like four or five peppers for, for, for one hundred francs for ice. The ice of pepper, even not even big ones, very small ones for one hundred francs. So you can get maybe pepper for how much? Maybe two hundred. Small pepper, two hundred francs. It's okay, depending on how many of you. Are okay, how many of you? And what's the quantity of corn fufu you would do? You know, depending right. on how you are in the house. Mm -hmm. No, any pepper goes. Mm -hmm. The yellow is very hot. Any pepper goes. Ah, sometimes ah, it depends on the the roots of the pepper or the background of there are some peppers. Some other peppers. And some other peppers that are really hot. Feminine food. Mm -hmm. the peppers mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you miss b for that meal i know there are persons who can possibly do this for themselves people who don't eat pepper i know somebody who wants to eat fish eat just with spices 
you know the spice that is used to spice the fish that is the what they used to eat the fish but now today we're proposing uh, you eat a corn fufu with pepper with fresh fish you see that you will, you will obviously love what you'll be eating thank you miss b uh, for that meal this afternoon she feels like eating corn fufu i hope you too feel like eating the corn fufu like us back here in the studios 50 minutes past 3 o'clock 3 p.m this afternoon uh, Mariko, who keeps the child when the parents are separated in a case when they were not married very difficult question honestly because sometimes given that they are not married mm -hmm. right? they are not married mm -hmm. uh, given